Today we are getting into some DIY lashes at home. These are clusters. They're beautiful, fluffy, cute little like classic cat eye set. And these lashes will probably look under $10. So let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, make sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe and join the fam. My name is Jatera Rianne. It is so nice to meet you. I'm super excited for today's video because y'all know on my channel I do everything myself. Nails, hair, makeup, lashes. So today we are getting into a lash tutorial so I can help y'all become baddies on a budget. So jumping right into it, I'm going to show you guys the lashes that I'll be using today. This is my first time using them so it's not like i'm raving about this product but i am going to give you guys a review at the end they are from vava lash this is what they look like they are in the lengths um 10 through 16 mm and it's 0 0.07 for the lash type and I wanted to try this out because you do get 280 pieces. So I'm like, all right, this should be able to last me a really long time. However, I'm not using their glue or their remover um, because I still have some from VIs, which has been my fave so far. I did a sponsorship back with them. So if my code is still accessible, I'll link it in the comment section for you guys down below. But this is their lash bond and their lash seal and i love it it's easy to work with it lasts a really really long time so 10 out of 10 recommend and this bottle is dirty so excuse that but this is the remover that i will be using once my lashes need to be taken off and this is from vias as well um i love it it's like an oil base it's easy to use it rubs them right off and then I'll be using these tweezers to apply them. I can't tell you where they're from, baby. But everybody sell these. You can get this in a beauty supply. Some dollar store or something. So, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so I went ahead and put on these cute um, faded patches from Topical. Just because I do have some under eye bag spooky. So, it just adds to the whole spa feel of it all. Because when you have to do your own maintenance routines at home you need to feel like you're taking care of yourself you know so boom this is what the last tray is giving i am going for a really short classic cat eye set okay so i'm gonna stay in the 10 to 12 range as far as length and these down here look a little more fluffy and full so i'm gonna go with the blue side so first things first, you got to get your lash bond, okay? You use the bond in the beginning and you use the seal at the end to seal everything together. Duh. The first time I ever did my lashes at home with clusters, I put the glue all over my lashes from inner corner to outer corner. And then I applied one by one. Epic fail, okay? You do not want to do that because... By the time you get to your inner corner, the glue has dried and then you have to apply more and then it gets clumpy and it makes your lashes clump together, which you don't want. So you want to do a little bit of lash bond at a time, okay? This is what the spoolie for the lash bond looks like. What I like to do is hold my lash up. So I hold my eye up and I apply a little bit of the bond at the outer corner only where I am about to put a lash at, okay? Very important. So I'm going to go ahead and start with 12. I like to get my lash out before I apply the bond. And I only am going to apply at the base. I don't want to fully coat my lash because it makes your lashes clump. And then you can see it through the falsies and it's not cute. So, pull up your lash and apply the bond at the very base of your lashes, okay? I kind of do back and forth motions because I really want to get it in there. You want to make sure that you're applying enough, but not too much. Just don't pull it through your entire lash like mascara. You don't want to do that. So I'm going to lift it back up and I'm going to place it at the base of my lashes just where I applied that glue. And I'm going to hold it, okay? I'm not going to fully like rip my hand away from my eye because I feel like the lash isn't set yet and it might fall off. 
And then I simply release my clench. I press on it. And that's really how you add it. So that was a number 12. I'm going to do another 12. So again, bond at the base. I'm doing side to side motions with the brush because you really want to get that glue on there. I pick up my lash like this. Okay, little cluster. Mm -hmm. Pull up my eye. And now I am going to kind of start overlapping the clusters because I want to avoid having gaps. And once it's on there, I release my grip and I push them together. So cute already. This is like the perfect length for me. I love a short set. It just gives classy and put together with love pizzazz. Uh -huh. Let me know in the comments down below if y'all starting to get the hang of it, okay? Also, everything that I'm using will be linked in the description box or my comments. Usually I do both because some of y'all don't like to read. <laughs> some of y'all be refusing to open that um description box. Like, girl, so you can get the goods. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Yeah. All right, now I'm going to move over to the 11th the 11 lengths for the center of my eye and if you guys want to do a hybrid set you know you can go in you can switch up the lengths that you do you can you can buy spikes from amazon to give you that different lash effect you can buy bottom eyelashes so you have your top and bottom fully done you can add a second layer of lashes sometimes I do that towards the bottom like the end the outer corner to give it a more like volume set kind of look instead of a classic set that's really cute you honestly can do so many different variations when it comes to lash clusters look at that so cute. Is it hot in here or is it just me? I'm so hot in here that I'm smoking on this weed. Told him go and take a shot on three. Told him drinks, it's on me. Is it hot in here or is it just me? I'm so hot in here that I'm smoking on this weed. Go and take a shot. So now I consider this to be my inner corner and now I'm going to go into the 10 lengths. I would say I use about 7 to 8 of the 11 lengths for the clusters. For me doing a cat eye I wanted it to go from shortest to longest so the 11s or your whatever your center length is that's the length you're going to use for the majority of your eye. This is so cute. This is so cute. This is so cute. Alright, I want a little bit more va va room right here at the outer corner. I don't know if y'all can tell, but like I can see one of my lashes. The little short lashes peeking out. So I'm going to now put a little bit of lash glue, bond, whatever you want to call it, on the cluster and on that little lash of mine. And I'm going to add another 12 length right there. Just for fullness, we don't want any gaps. And boom, just like that, we have it. I'm going to go ahead and push everything together just to make sure. Oh, this is, are y'all seeing what I'm seeing? 
are you seeing what I'm seeing? Do you see how I just went from cute to whoa? Mm-hmm. So we're not done yet. It's time to put the bond away and go towards the lash seal. You will know the difference because this one is white. Okay. I'm gonna lift up my eye and I'm just gonna dab at the base. Okay, this kind of makes the base hard, so you don't want to dab or apply any of the lash seal towards the end of your lashes because you want them to stay fluffy. So, you only should be putting the lash bond at the base of your eye. And I just like to tap. And I make sure I get my inner and my outer corner really good because those are the lashes that like to fall off first. And there we have it. You can't tell me this is not super duper cute. So first things first, because I want to give y'all a review. This lash set, like the way it looks, is really, really cute. I like it. Low-key, I like this better than the VI lashes that they gave me. Because all lash clusters have different, like, styles. I really love the style of these lashes so far. Okay, you guys. So... The lashes are complete auto. It was so easy to do. I think that took me like 18 minutes, girl. And I was taking my time. But this is the final product. They look so good. So fluffy. I love these lashes. I love the glue. I love the bond. I love everything, okay? Um, also, this is the same nail set that I did weeks ago, okay? There's no cap in my wrap. They're starting to look a little dingy. You know, those little chips on them. Girl, they've been on for about a month now. So, time to take these off. Be careful. I bring that up to say be careful with this glue because the bond kind of gets on your nails sometimes and on your fingers and your hands. And it's just, it washes off with soap and water. But, yeah, it can damage, it can mess up your nails um, if you're not careful. But, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take off my eye patches. I don't know if these work yet, girl. We gonna give them a month or two of me consistently wearing them. But get wait, that looks good. On the, hold on now. <laughs> okay. Anyways, they look too good. We need to run it back to the before when I was talking to you guys and I didn't have the lashes. Okay, get into it. She's cute. She's cute. But this child. Hoppington, okay so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial be sure to check out all the products they will be linked down below um comment what tutorial you guys want me to film next the silk press with the trim at home is still on its way i'm about to film that really really soon but yeah if you enjoyed today's video please give me a like baby we are almost at 100k so make sure that you are subscribed and i will see y'all in the next one bye mamas Mwah. Make sure to be a badgie on a badgie, okay?